Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Uh, last episode, I don't know about you, but it kind of made me feel like shit. Like, I was left with a pretty terrible feeling. I had to shake it off. Um, but I'm back now, and I'm ready to see how the game is going to continue according to the PlayStation uh, home screen. We're about 60% through the game at this point. So there's still quite a bit left before the end, but we lost, we lost a few people. We lost Wedge. We lost, uh, well, I mean, seemingly lost Wedge. He was right under a piece of collapsing, um, plate. We lost Jess. We lost Biggs. <sighs> Aerith has been captured, and I think Marlene is with her. Marlene is Barrett's daughter and or Tifa's daughter, um... And, uh, yeah, kind of, we let Andrew Tate and Rat Tail get away. Uh, it seems like, it seems like we're kind of losing the war here. Definitely a, a morale drain, but, uh, we'll have to see what the rest of the story has in store for us. I don't know what that weird cat thing was that, uh, showed itself just before the entire place. Was that a Moogle? I don't know if that was a Moogle. It, it would look like it was dressed up. It looked a little different, but maybe it was. How could this happen? <laughs> I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. <laughs> in my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. is 100% related to that guy. It's nothing. Let's go. Maybe. She's like maybe 80%. It's like there's a hole um, in the sky. Because when she was talking about her first love, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. <clears throat> Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. I don't get what we were looking at here. Are we, yeah, we're going through? Okay. Barrett's leading the way. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. 
Right. Is it true that Understood. You guys running yep, just pretty much. A giant yeah. firewall. Let me through, Hammond. Let me through. My daughter's in But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Well, maybe not. You're going towards the Chocobo? Come on now. Oh. There's no need to be afraid. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. Yeah, <laughs> he's shaking his head. He's like, uh-uh. Nope, no way. Not my responsibility. I didn't want anything to do with this. I just wanted a little bit of scratch. What was Cloud's purpose in this whole thing anyway? All he wanted was fucking money for what? What was he doing? It, just like surviving with money? I don't, I don't understand what his original motives were. But now he's roped up into this whole thing. Money or not. He was ready to sell no, Barrett up to the fucking... Uh... To Corneo's men. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even imagine how it looks over here. Um. Yo! Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, yeah, I, guess I hope you to too. develop new materia to help us endure. Alright, so can we get a new fucking, uh. new summon? Still just Shiva? What the fuck, dude? Okay, I think I remember where house is. Here's the leaf house. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Damn, bro. Where's you know? Marlene? Is she here? Barrett! <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little <laughs> girl. Uh, 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 Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I would just. <laughs> I want to see it too. Come on. Yeah, I would just Let's be go like. Let's look in on her. Sitting on the outside of the keep it down. Don't or, wake her. I don't her. know. Yeah, I feel like walking in is gonna wake her up. I would probably just wait outside the door. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. But it, it was only a matter of time before fault, she right? ended up back there. Back? Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? No. She, she didn't. must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. 
She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. That haircut actually looks so real. For some reason. And that's how I met her. Her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. <laughs> My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. <laughs> It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories, like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility, and how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. What His heart the came hell? a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? Most fucking bunk dialogue. They ever. were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. Totally normal conversation between two Some people. Believe the that promised just land met. to be a <laughs> myth. Others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even-
even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things Martin. worse than they already are. If I lost her too... They're pretty bad. I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Listen, lady, I'm your Just best don't. fucking chance. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure all the fires have calmed down since we... You know, had everything blow up. Or were we just going searching for bodies? The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. Um, yeah, I think it's this way we have to get to one of these tunnels here. Uh, all right, and we can see Wall Market from here. Over there. That means we got to go through here. Now, there's probably going to be monsters in this goddamn thing. I really hope I don't have to go through using those robot arms again. What the fuck are these things? Gorger? Let's do this. Too bad. Ah, damn it! I didn't even fucking. Keep it coming. I'm ready. One step at a time, huh? All right, the ladders are already down, so we don't have to use the fucking arms again. Thank God. It's blocked. There. What? That way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot. So is it gonna be new territory from here on out? Gonna teach you a lesson. What in the hell are these right things? Who came up with this shit? Allow me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you would say that. We'll put you in your place. What do you think? You're mine. Bring it! Calling ice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Going in. Great job. You're mine. Going yeah. all out. We make a decent team. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? Through here. Gotta win it all oh, for fuck's sake. Buzz off. Bam! That's that. Let's move, move, move! 
Ow! God damn it, I forgot about that again. What is in here? Oh. Just a tiny little heavy duty bracer after I just fucking bought one. Fucking these guys. God damn it, I did not mean to do that. No surprises there. Sorry, fellas. You got anything to say while we walk away? No? Yes? Okay. Uh, that was the guys from the tournament and also the first bandits that we found when we were down here. Well, the first time. Yeah, I know I've been here. I'm almost afraid to go back. Tifa. Come on. Oh wow, look at that. Look like we can go this way. No. There's monsters everywhere. Well, we just cleared them out, so yeah. You can you can make it through now. There's the little thing that we sat on. <laughs> Wyma! <sighs> You're alive! Still in one piece? Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. Am I, uh... I don't even know where to start. I don't even know who you are. Well, let's go in. Wait a minute. You're the weapons dealer, right? Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. I see. I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Godspeed. So we were gonna go in here last time when we were with Aerith, but we got sidetracked when we saw Tifa. Let's see what's on the other side. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn it! Uh, what is going on up there? Is stuff just still crumbling? Sector six is right over there. We should have to a little bit longer. That's all. I hadn't made it out here. 
That is fucking depressing. Take it there's nothing else around here. That one was a lot closer. And it's not like we have a lot of money saved. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. We just came from the tunnel. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> that was the plan. <laughs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your you step or you'll wind up in a say. hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say Anybody something! We're here hey. to help! We got her out of there. Tifa. Fucking cat. wedge alive. Yeah. Holy Let's shit. Ready? One, two, three! Four, five, six! Kitty? Come on, kitty. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Wedge? You're down here, buddy. Come on. Oh my god, now it shows up? That's so hey, annoying. We're coming down. Stay right where you are. <laughs> this place reeks of Shinra. Oh, sorry, I just ripped ass. I should have said Witch? something. Holy shit. Oh, god damn it. It's always fucking something. Tifa! 
out! Shout if you can hear me! Hey! Ugh. If a search scope appears when you are in control, that means there's destructible objects. Alright. There's no path, you gotta make one. Shoot these. And there you are. Holy shit, I can. Hell yeah. Hand them over. All right. Oh, another wall. He's just automatically aiming, by the way. I, there's, I, there's like no way that I'm doing this. Why are these things not falling? No there we go. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Uh, is this the way I'm supposed to go? I don't want to go in there yet. Take him to build all this beneath our feet. You ain't getting out of this. Come on, keep firing. What the fuck was that noise? Uh -oh. Get your ass out of here! Get your ass out of here! Don't stop now! Suck it! See ya! Oh yeah! Another one in the bag! Keep going! Come on, all three of us fell down together. Where the fuck would everybody else be? Uh, I don't like this. Ow. All right, we're getting away from that fucking door. You really want to throw down with me? Ooh, gotta love it. Oh. Ah, time for a serious asshole. Oh yeah, another one in the van. Suck on this. We're destroying the fan. Just no escape in the mist there. I'm really gonna enjoy burning it all down. I wonder what those fucking Moogle medals are even for. We keep getting them, I don't... I have zero idea what they actually do. Oh Tifa. my god. Hey, Tifa! Hey. You okay? Did you tell you the truth? Not really. I think there's enough around here somewhere. Can you take care of it? I got you! This whole place looks like a fucking nest. Suck on this!
coming, Tifa. Daddy's coming. He can take care of himself. We've got bigger right. issues. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. All right. Gotta go find Wade. Come on. Move. Uh. Well, this is great. It's a goddamn maze, huh? Why would you be afraid to ask? How else would I get in here? Don't stop now! Ain't got nothing on me! Uh, there's some materia in there. But I don't think I care. If I gotta climb another damn ladder. Uh oh. Ooh, gotta no! Damn it. Tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his cats. We should treat him to a nice meal when he gets back. Keep it up. God damn. Gonna stop. <laughs> you would say that. What now? We got oh boy, here we go. How'd you like that? Too late. Damn! Uh, and don't come back. Good shit, Barrett. That was fucking actually super dope. Hmm. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. All right. Well, I guess we got a chance to fucking sit down. Anything here? Let's go. Hey, there you are, Wedge. Wait. <laughs> He's okay. He fucking You're made sure? it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Making me worry like that. I'd kick your ass if you didn't look like shit. Thank well, we got one and we lost one. Thank you. And by lost one, I just mean like Cloud. Well, we'll find him. Okay, let's go. Not sure. Yeah, you got him, right? Because I know Tifa's strong, but he's a big boy. Yeah, it's you, all right. <laughs> Had his ass. That sore spot. What is this? Barret! Uh, it's actually an arena. You're going to put him on that catwalk that just fucking collapsed beneath our feet? God 
goddamn symbiotes. Wish I had some assessments area. Well, they're not fucking. They are not uh, fucking weak to thunder. Unknown entity. There are so many of them, dude. Yeah. Of course there's more. You could? Like you even got ahead. Resisted. Getting real tired of this shit. This is ridiculous. All right. We gotta close that duck. Diesel, you're up. Okay. Okay. Ouch. I said cover me. That's a bigger one. Holy shit. Go, 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 go. Well, that's odd. Uh... Oof. Failed experiment. Spider web. Grenade! I can't hit it from here. Am I supposed to do something up here? Oh my god. It's sleeping. Uh, did I do that? Dead. Mithril claws. Cloud. No time, Bert. You're up. 
late to the party and you giving me orders? How'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. Hmm. There's nobody else I know who use that kind of mess. <laughs> All right, get us through. Is that gonna? Is that gonna do it? Oh, okay. I had to walk two more fucking steps. God damn it. <sighs> oh, God. Were those... People? Yeah. That's the Shinra I know. Things. I'm so tired of them. Damn it, where's Wedge? What the hell was that? There he is. Can we find a way to we need to get him somewhere safe to dispel those Everything specters? Else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. remaining cat, right? Didn't he have like fucking three or four of them? <sighs> All I want is to find I want a way. You to take Wedge back for me. Who I'm the fuck gonna is gonna do that? What do you he mean? Made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. Nah, man. Not them. <sighs> I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. Supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <sighs> so we carry that weight. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go and... 
I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! Team. But... <sighs> Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? There are only two bedrooms. Are all three of us gonna share a fucking bed? Don't worry, Wedge, I gotcha. Unless it's those specters, then you're fucked, because uh, apparently we can't do anything against those guys. Like, Elmira can't stop us from going after them, you know? I don't know what's in there, maybe a bathroom, but... Where the fuck does she sleep, anyway? She can't stop us from going after Aerith, you know? Where am I supposed to be going? Hey, big guy. You should rest up while you can. Likewise. Nah, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Science, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Who? Kid would do damn near anything except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy, howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels. Hmm. Finn's work. Every one. Then there's Al. Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think. Some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she I got told him where to stick him. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took him for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough. Like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. So it's decided, we're gonna go save Aerith. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. 
I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <clears throat> Daddy! <clears throat> Marlene. Are you going? <clears throat> I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. It's so fucking dumb. We will. I'm so fed up with characters not explaining shit or like holding stuff back. You'll come back. Right? It's like the 18th time that's happened. Of course, I promise. Including the 12 times that Cloud has had visions and not said anything to okay. anyone. Okay. You can go. It's also strange the things they decided to texture and other things they didn't, like the doorknobs, but like each character is fucking so highly detailed. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the train still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. That motherfucker. Alright, well, that seems like a perfect place to go ahead and end that episode there. If you made it to this part of the video, you might as well subscribe, because why the hell not? And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, that would be greatly appreciated. As always, if you plan on sticking around, I hope you see me in the next one.